What's up everybody? We watch and then review every movie that was nominated for Best Picture at the Academy Award for 101 years. I hear you already saying, but wait, there hasn't been 101 years of Academy Awards yet. Yeah, well, we'll keep going until there is. So this is going to be uh, for the long haul. Today we're reviewing uh, the movie that won the Academy Award for Best Picture at the very first Academy Award, Wings. Wings. Movie of 1927. Yeah. Won in 1928 and the award in 1928 uh well 1929 is when the award happened and it covered 1927 and 28 oh all right okay I see. so wings movie directed by william a wellman who also directed a movie we talked about last time too a star is born Oh, oh, yeah, with uh, Janet Gaynor, who was the actress of the, the last movie we watched, Seventh Heaven. Seventh Heaven, yes. Yeah. He himself, this is a movie about war. He himself, the director, was in the First World War, first as an ambulance driver and then as a pilot. So this is a movie, an idea based on his experience. No, because actually they had a script, like the studio had a script and a, a story going, and they went to get a director who had... Uh, piloting experience during the war. Oh, so that, I, that is interesting. So they were looking for someone who would have like the best vision of what it looks like yeah. to be a pilot in, during the war. And that paid off. We'll talk about that uh, in a few minutes. Uh, the movie stars Clara Bow as Mary uh, Preston, the the main actress, the lady, who uh, was part of the inspiration for a cartoon character. I don't know if you know that character, Betty Boop. Oh, yes, I do. Yeah. Okay, can you see it? That is, yes, yes, now that you mentioned it, I totally can <laughs> <Yeah>. see it. <laughs> uh, also stars uh, Charles Roger as Jack Power, the main character, and uh, Richard Hallen as David Armstrong, the friend. The movie came out August 12, 1927, like we established earlier, and let's go into like some of the technical aspect a, a little bit because i think that's very interesting for this movie it was made so long ago uh the special effect for the time were like uh, not special effect but the effects in general were like a really big thing you know like it really looked like those planes were crashing and then, like the for a movie of that time you know and how they did it they had hundreds of extra on set and 100 uh, 300 pallets who were also involved with the shooting, both piloting the planes and giving advice to the director and the rest of the crew on how this, like, it should look. And all of that paid off because not only did it win Best Picture, it also won um, Best Engineering Effect, which was that time's version of Best um, Special Effect. Special Effect, right, yeah. I see. I was actually wondering how they, they did that because I was... Well, first of all, I was thinking they must have had real planes to fly, but then how did they make the, the crashings and the fires? That looks like something that was quite advanced for that time. I didn't expect to see that much. And although last um, week's movie was also or also involved war and some war scenes, in this one it seemed like they put a lot of focus and emphasis on the battle scenes. So I think in that sense, it, it it's a little bit more of an action movie than anything the, we've seen so far. Yeah, definitely. There are like long action scenes too. Yes, long battle scenes. Yeah. Most of them up in the air with mm -hmm. airplanes and crushing. And it's you have to think like they filmed amazing. most of these like in the air with pilots. Right, so that's yes. So very interesting. Um, the movie is the technically the only move, silent movie to ever win Best Picture. If you exclude uh, the 2011 movie The Artist, which is a silent movie, but there is like one scene where they talk, but the like the movie is a silent movie, it's a black and white silent movie. But if you exclude The Artist, which was a love letter to early Hollywood movies, this right. is the only like legit silent movie that won Best Picture. I see. I actually didn't know that. So from next uh, month, we will have sound. Yeah. People talking. Ruining, People talking. ruining our movies with their talking. I was actually <laughs> expecting that this silent movie era was longer than that. I didn't, I didn't know that they started recording sound so early on. 
Oh yeah, it's pretty early. Yes. And uh, so just to go into like a bit of a synopsis of the movie, spoiler free, uh, the movie is about two young men uh, that we named earlier, Jack and David, who must go to war as the First World War, and they enlist as pilots. Right, yes. Jack is a young dreamer who always dreamed of being uh, able to fly, being yes, in the so air. Flying. Yeah, so this was the perfect occasion for him, and David, bound by duty, also enlist. They both become friends, and a little bit of drama too, they're both in love with the same woman. So this is like the main crux of the story, and then... Yes, this is how it all begins. <laughs> yeah, and then the, the rest unfold. So, just uh, spoiler-free, top of your head, did you like this movie? So I have to say it, not as much as the other ones that we have watched. No? For all its good parts, and I was genuinely impressed by the, the way they, sh they shot the scenes, by the, the action scenes, the uh, battle scenes. Um, the story went a bit, like, uh, past me. I, I was not as impressed with the story. It had some flaws from my point of view. Yeah? Yes. And so you would not recommend this movie? I would rather recommend last week's movie. So Before heaven. this one, yes. So or even heaven. The Racket? Yeah, uh, the rocket is. I feel like it's mm, very much different from these two. Mm. But if I had to pick between these two, which have a little bit of a similar topic, you know, love and war, I would I would rather recommend Seventh Heaven rather than this one. Mm. It's funny you say that because I come out with a similar conclusion, which is this was not my favorite of the three, but totally reversed so you said like you were more into the the battle scenes than the story yes i was genuinely impressed yeah. by that like i was impressed by how they managed to do those scenes i was not interested by them oh you know i was curious like oh man how did they do that uh, they're flying in the air the, the plane looks like they're crashing for 1927 that's pretty impressive i don't like i'm not interested i want to go back to the to the love story, the love triangle between the... Uh, the love... Qua uh, was it a square? A square, yeah. <laughs> yes, a little bit. B between later. the four of them. That was the more interesting part for me. And even then, it was a pretty, like, middle-of-the-road so, story. Uh, like, on that note, I, I did like that the love, the love part of the movie, the love story. Mm -hmm. That was not my issue. That was not my problem. It wasn't with the love part. And... No, it was more with the... For the most part of the movie, I felt oh. like this could have been a comedy. But then the second part is very dramatic. And I feel like it's not a good mix between the two. Like, it doesn't look good. On so screen. the tone, he doesn't know what tone exactly. is trying Exactly. To... The tone of the movie is just so different. The, the enemies are depicted in a ridiculed way, which again would have been good for a movie that wants to be more like towards comedy uh the drama between the friends okay i feel like dramatic. you want to go into a bit more detail here no, so no, i'm like, just well, i'm just t yeah. talking about like, the general feel of the yeah. the movie i'm not gonna give not gonna give any spoilers yet <laughs> um so yes and then the 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 two friends the the characters were depicted in a very um i would say even childish manner for the most part of the movie so I feel like all of these different ways of depicting different, you know, characters or groups of characters, like the enemies, uh, are just not, they, they don't come well together. Yeah. They didn't make you believe in the world that they were building. Yes, exactly. It wasn't comedy all the way, it wasn't drama all, all the way, and like they didn't mix well together. So I, it just threw me off. <laughs> yeah, that's interesting. Mm. I would say definitely the part where I was the most interested were not uh, like the more fun scenes, the more like uh, comedy oriented scenes. And so like I can see I can see your point here. But uh, from now on, I'd like to move into a, like a little bit of a more detailed discussion. So just as a recap for anyone who would want to stop here, doesn't want to get spoiled. 
we would not say recommend this movie. Not it would not be the top of my list. Yeah, <laughs> definitely not. No, I'm sorry to say it. Or rather, I'd recommend this movie if anyone wants to see like special effect from the early era or how they managed yes. to do war movies in the twenties. Like definitely an interesting angle here. But like if you have to pick between uh, like Seventh Heaven and Wings, yes, probably would, watch. Uh, I would go. Seven yes. Uh, so from now on, be warned, we're going into full spoilers. We're gonna like give up details about the movies, spoil the whole thing, the ending, the middle, the <laughs> beginning. So like if you don't want to get any spoilers, uh, leave now and come back for the next video. So, and more details. Like, in more detail. What is it that you disliked about the movie? So um, from the beginning. When the two friends enroll, go to war. Well, at first they're actually in a training camp, right? Yeah. They're, they're training to become pilots. So their whole experience there is very uh, superficial, I would say. Mm -hmm. like they're not, they don't look like people who are preparing to go to war. Yeah. They don't feel, you don't feel the weight. You don't feel the, they're very, they're very mm -hmm. like, like carefree. They're very... It's very um, light. It looks like yes. they're having fun. You know, there's this exactly. scene where they're, they're boxing and the joke goes on for too long. Or even yes. when he's uh, like uh, stepping on his hat and that also go. That's the thing though. Jokes in this movie go on for way too long. Yes. Yes. Which is why it actually made me think for the better part of the, the movie, the first part of the movie, that it would be a comedy. Mm. It looked like a comedy. A lot of the scenes were... were like hinting towards that towards it being a comedy there was also this other camera they had the dutchman yeah who would do uh, would show off his tattoo uh, yes, of the, the, american, tattoo of the flag. american flag yeah just to prove that he is a uh, part of uh, the american army yeah which yeah yeah it, it really made me think like it's comedy hmm. and yet when they go into like battle scenes it is so dramatic and then yes, the titles like narrate an uh, interesting thing about this movie the titles a lot of narration yes a lot of narration this is like uh, compared to the two previous two where they were just uh, dialogue dialogue it was just dialogue yes. yeah this is a lot of like it tells you what's happening rather than the character talking to each other which, which actually, they also do which actually is an interesting point i don't know what it was like back then i do understand that it is hard to uh, put on screen, um, for example, such elaborate battle scenes in a way that people will understand. I don't know which planes have crashed, which planes are still in the air, for example. Yeah. So I see the necessity of, you know, a title explaining how the battle is going. There were parts where the, the title would just explain like how the battle was going with like this plane crashed and then this plane went after the other plane, mm -hmm. things like this. Um, but I'm wondering if it is a good thing for silent movies. Like, wouldn't you want the the images to tell you the story rather than a narration, a written narration? To, yeah. Would, is this something that would say in a in a um, a competition like the Academy Awards back then? Hmm? Would this like make the movie lose points? Apparently not, because it won. Yes, it won I suppose. Best it picture. <laughs> uh, outstanding pictures, as it was called. And I couldn't shake that feeling while I was watching that maybe it won because of patriotic elements. I actually thought that too. I actually thought that too. Because unlike Seventh Heaven, which, we, which is a love movie during wartime, this is a war movie. Yeah. This is a movie about the war, with everything else happening around it. The it even starts by saying this is dedicated to the right. air forces. And so... Yes. It's pretty obvious that they had an angle. They wanted to show what it was like to be in the air force during the First World War. And of course, the director, himself being a pilot, would know. And uh, in that sense, I think they succeeded a lot at showing like how dangerous it is. And how, like, from uh, a minute to another, you're gone, you know? 
Right. Like they had the, this friend who was sharing their tents, White, who, yes. who just introduced himself, say, I'm going to be right back. I just have to do some exercise uh, on my plane. Pop, dead. Exactly. And they do show a lot of uh, soldiers dying. Yeah. Like they are not necessarily memorable characters in the story, but you do get the feeling that the main characters knew them and... You, they, do, you do get that feeling of loss. They don't shy away from the tragedies of war. Yes. Which is why, in my opinion, the last part, the ending, is counterproductive. Because um, David, the friend, gets shot down by the German. Managed to survive, steal a German plane, comes back and gets shot down by his own friend. Right. This, like, I was watching and I was like, this is a soap opera. Like, yes, like, it didn't need to be done if he was gonna die. If he was gonna die, you just have him die killed by the German the first time. Like, right. why did you need exactly. to do that second part? I don't understand it. And, like, if you just wanted the weight of it being on the, uh, Jack's shoulder or him regretting uh, having a fight with his friend before he died, he would have regretted anyway. Yes. His friend is dead. Exactly. He would have carried that teddy bear back home to his parents anyway. Exactly. Yes. I feel like that was a little bit unnecessary. Yeah. And I suppose it was for like the dramatic effect. But I guess maybe, maybe they did. Maybe they tasted it differently back then. Maybe it was, yeah. But to a story that would be told today, that's... It, it would seem forced. Yes. It's a bit too much. Yeah. <laughs> um, I really liked uh, Bao's character, the female character, Mary. Yes. yes. But, like, is it halfway or, like, three-fourth through the movie? Three-fourth of, like, through the movie, she just disappears. She's not in the war anymore. But they explain why. Yeah, 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 I know. Yes. And then it's just about the the two friends. And I was sorely missing her. Like. Yes. I liked her character too. Yeah. And it's interesting how they use her character as a woman, as a woman who goes to war. But her only role in the story was to get to that point in that brothel in, in Paris. Or whatever it was in Paris. Yeah, it was in Paris. Uh... No, I'm not sure if it was a brothel, I mean. I think oh. it, maybe it was just like a... a hotel. Uh, yeah. I think it was the military uh, okay. hotel. Well, anyway, so her, her only storyline, like, uh, for her going to war was that, like, she needs to, to get there to save him from, you know, himself. Yeah, because he gets drunk and he was about to, like, go spend the night with some French girl... And not go back to his regiment, which he needed to. Yes, otherwise, he would, he would have been a uh, deserter. Yes, he would have been considered a deserter. Yeah. So she needs to go there to like help him and to, you know, yeah. make him go back. Which makes me think of one other thing. His character, Jack's character, I do not like him. Like he's the main character. Yes. Have no affiliation with him. Yes, I felt like true. most of the movie he was a jerk. Uh, he was a drug to uh, David. David, who never did anything wrong to him to begin with, from yes. the beginning. But he yes. was a jerk. And then a drug to Mary. Yes. Well, to Mary, you can say he was just... Uh, he was just being friendly. and Being he, friendly yeah. and she was in love with him. Exactly. And he didn't realize it. He didn't yeah, so I guess that, that would be excusable. But like, yes. then he uh, gets the, uh, the nickname, the shooting the star, shooting you know. Star, yes. And he gets... Super popular, so he goes to Paris and gets drunk and hangs like a jerk off in front of other yes. girls. And I was like, how am I supposed to relate to this guy? To me, David was a much more likable guy. Yes, David is the... If you want to depict an American hero, that David would have been him. And maybe hero. that's that's the point. Probably. Because yes. the one who comes back as a hero is the one who's alive, Jack. Yes. While David is dead and only his family is mourning for him. Yes. His family plus Jack. Yes. And so maybe that was the point is that this is this is war. The ones who maybe sacrifice the most are not always the one you remember. And the better ones are not always the ones who make it back. Yes, I suppose that is yeah. true. That is that actually fits with the story. But yeah, it is true that you don't you can't really I I couldn't relate to his character either too yeah. much. For the most part he was being uh, you know either annoying or childish or 
just yeah. not realizing what's happening. Uh, so just to close the conversation one last time, like the movie, didn't like it? I wouldn't say that I didn't like it. Yeah. But as I said, it was very interesting. I am a great fan of action movies and for like it, all of its faults, I did see the action in it and I was like really entertained by that. Yeah. So it was an entertaining movie. I wouldn't say it was the best of this year, uh, but I wouldn't say it was bad. Mm. I did enjoy it. Yeah. I'll say it's a movie that I'm glad I watched. But I wouldn't watch a second time. I suppose, yes. That was all for today. Thank you. Make sure to subscribe, like, leave a comment if you have something to say about the movie, if you've watched it yourself or if you want to watch it, and uh, hit that, uh, that notification bell. Thank you. Mm -hmm.